Alex Dimonor has caused some news today after pulling the middle finger to the French crowd in Barcelona following his loss to Arthur Thiels. Of course, Dimonor beat Rafael Nadal the other day in what was a great win for Alex Dimonor, a confidence booster for his performance on clay. And just as we thought, Perhaps he had a chance to win this Barcelona Open alongside the names of Sitsipas and Kasper Ruud. He lost to the upcoming Arthur Thiels. He was not happy and this is not quite like Alex Dimonor to show his anger on the court. It's surprising that he wasn't receiving all too much support from the Spanish crowd. However, as I said, fans who perhaps were provoking him or being rowdy were the French fans supporting Arthur Thiels. Alex Dimonor does have a Spanish heritage and we'll see. Alex Dimonor is not as good on class. However, you know, there's probably not an excuse to be doing this in the public eye. I wouldn't be surprised if he does get a fine. Do I condone it? No. Do I understand it? Yes. Let's be honest. All right. Comments here on r slash tennis on Reddit. Yesterday, humble Alex. Today, assertive Alex. Someone saying I was just checking my nails, which is a note or, or a reference to Daniil Medvedev last year in Paris when he did a similar thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if he got fined for that, so that's probably a precedent that was set. I don't know what this was in response to exactly, but I saw this picture on Twitter and it cracked me up. It was in response to the crowd, of course. Yeah, as this person says, at one point they were doing a synchronized French can-can and cavorting around the edges of the stands like dancing Homer. They were being pretty loud, weren't they? You know, it's up to Alex Dimino also to be able to back up these big wins. That's his next step in his career. You know, beating Rafael Nadal, he literally has the court named after him. What do you guys think in relation to Alex Dimonor's level? But also, was he right to do this? Let me know in the comments down below. And should he be fined? Let me know as well. Additionally, talking about Rafael Nadal, he mentioned following his loss to Dimonor how he will take a step forward in Madrid in Rome and he's going to die out there in Paris. Those are some big words from Rafael Nadal who was actually talking about how he doesn't really have much to win or much to lose in this year, 2024, and particularly at Paris. A bit of a change in language from Nadal. And we'll see, I guess he's, you know, it's quite easy to get into that momentum of everyone watching you and feeling like you can win. He looks good physically, played decent tennis. I reckon the next two weeks in Madrid and Rome will be, or two tournaments in Madrid and Rome will be a great uh, moment to see how he's really playing. Barcelona was always going to be difficult, you know, the first tournament back. We'll see how he goes. We're still awaiting to see if Djokovic will play in Madrid. He is on the entry list. So for now, we have to assume he's playing. He has that Laureus Sports Awards in Madrid on Monday which I have a video about, which will pop up in the top right-hand corner right now. Click that right now, pause the video. And that video talks about how Sportic believes he will play because if he does win the award, he has a reason to be in Madrid. And if you're in Madrid, you may as well play sort of thing. But perhaps he won't win. If he doesn't win, that's a bit of a joke because he was the best sportsman or sports person in 2024. Regardless, it seems to be at least one more summer of tennis in which Nadal and Djokovic will be fighting for the biggest titles. That might be controversial to say, but Nadal seems to be changing his language and seems confident to some extent. Some interesting news with Alex Dimonov pulling that obscene gesture and Rafael Nadal talking about his future prospects on clay. And we'll see if Djokovic will play in Madrid in due course. Until next time.